God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. <clears throat> Amen. In the in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Um, I just want to thank God. Amen. For each of you. Amen. For tuning in with me. Amen. To the voice of one. Amen. Crying out in the wilderness. Amen. Um, which is our our subject and our title. Amen. Is uh, we are one. Amen. <clears throat> I got to get this hauled again. Amen. We are one in the body of Christ. Amen. So I thank God again for each of you. I would love for you to go ahead and get someone, get a friend, get a relative. Amen. Get someone from another church group and let us all come together. Amen. Because as the title and the subject is, we are one in the body of Christ. So therefore, it is time to break the cycle. Amen. But I just have a couple announcements. Amen. Before, amen, we just begin to go on today. Amen. Uh, last Tuesday, amen, I was able to come on. I was uh, at the emergency room. Amen. With my grandbaby, but glory and thanks be to God. Amen. Everything came out good. So therefore, I was unable, amen, to come on the air. But um, I thank God for each of you that do stand with me and pray with me and pray for me. Amen. All is well. Amen. And I just thank God. Amen. For our Lord and our Savior. Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. Also, um, I just have some good news. Amen. I want to share, amen, that God has blessed. Amen. So now we have opened up, amen, a place for men as well as women, amen, to be able to shelter them. Amen. And I, I just thank God for what God, amen, is doing in this hour. The Bible says, amen, that the harvest is ripe, but the labors are few. Amen. And it's time to get out there that we reap. Amen. We have to remember, amen, where we came from. Amen. And, and we tend to forget oftentimes where we came from. And then we get to a certain level or to a certain height in our Christianity, per se. And then we don't want to go back out and help those from where we come from, from whence we come from. Amen. So I just thank God. Amen. For our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, let us, amen, I want to go in prayer. Father, I thank you. Thank you, Father. I thank you for your glory, your precious holy name, your glory. You are worthy to be magnified. You're worthy to be exalted. You're worthy to be lifted up. Your name is above every name. Hallelujah. And Lord, I thank you on today. And God, I pray that you move, God, by your spirit upon every heart, every ear. God, that you place us all one in the body of Christ. And God, even on today, God, that every denomination and tradition, every religion and every formality, God, be moved out of the way. And God, I pray God, that we could come out as a people and God, that we can join hands together in this last hour and reap the harvest. And God, I thank you and I claim it and I know that it's going to be done throughout the body of Christ. And God, I thank you and I glorify your name in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. And amen. 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 Again, and I just want to again, thank God. <clears throat> amen for our <clears throat> Lord and Savior amen Jesus Christ amen and and again always the same thing amen it's time amen that we put away our denominations and our traditions and our formality amen and all of the formalism amen that that we've been going by Amen. And it's time to put all that aside because I'm going to repeat this again. It's not going to profit us in the kingdom of God. Denomination is not going to profit us in the kingdom of God. Religion is not going to profit us in the kingdom of God. Formality, the way we dress, 
is not going to profit us in the kingdom of God. Religion is not going to profit us in the kingdom of God. And the name of our church certainly is not going to profit us into the kingdom of God. But what profit us into the kingdom of God is when we love God first with all of our heart, mind, and soul and go out there in the street and start loving your neighbor as you love yourself as God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that same love we supposed to have out there in the street. Glory to God. Now, <clears throat> I want to read a little bit as being by the Spirit of God. Galatians, the fifth chapter. <coughs> and excuse me if I keep getting all. It's all right. Now, Paul here in Galatians 5 1. Basically, is letting us know be not again entangled with the yoke of bondage. Now, I'm, I'm, uh, we going somewhere with this one, so grab your call somebody and let them know we going somewhere with this hymn. So hold on to your seatbelt because you're gonna fly on when you hear this. Go ahead and tell your neighbor, Glory to God. Now. Now, this is again a twofold, and I love my twofold. As being saved, as coming to Christ, we should not be entangled again with the yoke of bondage of going back into sin, going back to cursing when you was delivered from your foul mouth, going back to drinking, going back to smoking, Going back to committing adultery. Going back to commit, amen, fornication. Going back in lasciviousness. Going back to be full of envy and strife and malice. Amen. Now this is for the particular individual that we should not again be entangled with the yoke of bondage because simply Jesus died on Calvary for the remission of our sin and he took those sins and he cast them not only in the sea but in the sea called forgetfulness so he doesn't remember what you have done when you are born again you are like a new you are a new creature in Christ Jesus. You have become a baby. Just like somebody just had a baby. Don't know nothing in this world. We become a baby in Christ Jesus when we are yet born again. <coughs> now. Hallelujah. The other fold of this message as in the body of Christ we have gotten ourselves entangled with the yoke of bondage what is that yoke of bondage we can't serve God properly because we're too busy in denomination we're too busy in a culture we're too busy Word about traditions or what we shall eat or what we shall wear or what we shall drink and, and how are we going to do this and the way we're going to do this and the color we're going to wear like this and what program, amen, we're going to put on this day. Amen. The yoke of bondage is religion. We cannot come together because we are in bondage. Religion has separated the children of God. Religion has separated the body of Christ. 
The Methodist will not fellowship with the Baptist. The Baptist will not fellowship with holiness. Holiness will not fellowship, amen, with AME or, or sanctification or whatever the name of your church. And then when we come up with these names, of course we are coming up under a denomination with fall under a tradition, amen. So therefore we are caught up in bondage. Hey, hallelujah. I'm going to explain this thing in a minute. And I'm going to try to finish this. Amen. I'm going to look at this time and I'm going to be moderate because I, I overgo and I'm not going to lie. <coughs> and I get cut off. Amen. It's not Facebook. It's me I, because I just go on. Amen. Now, a yoke, I'm going to explain. <coughs> <clears throat> Glory to God, the word is still going for it. Pay attention. A yoke. I'm going to say this first. We call ourselves, we preach. We preach in Jesus. We coming up with these sermons. But we're still in bondage because we are caught up in an occult and what I know today that the church practice more of culturalism than they do what they supposed to do well we can't say religion but not really religion but the type of religion is basically following after Christ and that's the type of religion I'm talking about I'm not talking about setting up a church and what color you want amen and what color you want the people to put on and what kind of shoes you want to put on amen I'm not talking about that I'm talking about representing Jesus Christ the son of the living God now a yoke is a curved bar made from wood or metal that harnesses together two or more draft animals so they can be more effectively to work as a team and as I say it in people too in slavery amen there were yokes amen uh, uh, for two or three more amen to be around the neck with a chain amen which is a harness like a horse amen to work to get the job done but under slavery now yokes are placed I just said it they are placed around the neck of people like shackles amen to only to secure prisoners in a place now listen when Paul said do not be entangled which was ordered by God again with the yoke of bondage do not let yourselves be burdened again with the yoke of slavery what is slavery my sister ask somebody what slavery i'm gonna tell you what slavery is slavery is denomination slavery is religion slavery is tradition glory to god slavery is religion because soon as you join into something there is an order and they have particular bylaws that you have to be ruled by. Amen. You're not in the street. You're not preaching the gospel. You're not going in the, hand, in the hospital laying hands on the sick that they may recover. You're not going, amen, in the mental institution, amen, setting people that are dynamic free. You're too busy in slavery in the yoke of bondage under denomination, religion, tradition. Glory to God. And formality. Glory to God. 
That is slavery. <clears throat> How much money every member got to come up with? Then you're in bondage because you're trying to wonder why the Lord, how I'm going to come up with this money. Or uh, I'm, I'm an officer and I got to come up with, amen, two or three hundred dollars. That is a slavery mentality. And I don't care how you slice it. I don't care how you want to put it. I don't care if you want to put icing and whipped cream on top of it. It is wrong and it is not right in the sight of God. And that is not an order of God. The order of God, amen, We, if we lift up the name of Jesus, he will draw all men unto him, all women unto him, all children unto him when we lift up the name of Jesus. But we have to go out. And reap the harvest. That souls may be added. To the church daily. That disciples can be made. More and more. To go out there and do the same thing. Listen. Touch your neighbor. Where we at? We in bondage. Amen. Listen. Listen. Paul basically was rebuking the Christians for the tendency to turn back to legalism which is the opposite of Christian freedom listen when we get saved we are free but not to be entangled in the yoke of bondage <coughs> Glory to God. Now as I said. It's time. To break. The cycle. We are one in the body of Christ. Listen here. We can carry on. And carry on. And go on. Jesus is going to. Come. And rapture. <clears throat> and those in formality and religion and denomination is going to be left right here still in their own religion and their denomination and their tradition and more so the name of their church but listen help me Lord let me slow down now you have three types of cycle of people in the body of Christ the same as in the book of Revelation about the seven churches. There are certain, there are only, listen. The game is the same, but the players change. But the game is always the same. When God was speaking, amen, to, to, the, to the people then, he's speaking to us now. We just in a different generation, but his word changed not. God will never change and his word will never change. He the same God with his order today, yesterday, and will be forevermore. Remember that. Now, you have some true people out there that's authentic. But even the authentic ones are dying slowly. You know why? Because you're not using your gift you're not going into the street you having more church than anything then you are exercising the gift that is within you amen faith come by huh what hearing and hearing by the word of God but there are authentic ones in the body of Christ that's true and truly love God with all of their heart, their mind, and soul. And I'm going to say this again. Listen, I need some people to stand with me. Oh, I'm not I'm not asking nobody for no money, no hundred, no fifty dollar. And I'm not going to be no false prophet. Amen. Prophet line you telling you if you call me, if you text me, or if you uh, link or what, however they do it. Amen. I promise that I got a blessing for you. I'm, I'm sorry. If you looking from that from me, then don't even come this way. But what I will tell you, amen, is to come out of your sin and go and sin no more. And after you please God, 
Amen. Everything else is going to fall in place. Listen here. You, we serve a God that said, ask anything you want in, the, in my name and it shall be given unto you. Listen, that's the type of God we serve. But we have to walk before him before we get that. Come on, somebody. Say, let's do this. Glory to God. I'm crazy. Him for the Lord. Listen. You got those also that put on a form of godliness. That's the dress up kind. That's what I call the dress up kind. Want to look good when they come to church. <coughs> <clears throat> want to do things in front of the pastor. They want the pastor to see how much money they take their money and drop it real slow in the treasury basket so the pastor can, amen, see how much money, amen, they putting in because they want their particular favoritism, amen, that they putting some good money in the church. But listen in, let me tell you something. That, you can't buy your way to heaven, Amen. Come on, go tell somebody you can't buy your way to heaven. Glory to God. I don't care how you look. You got you could look like beauty on the outside, but you nasty and you full of mess on the inside. Listen. Those out the body of Christ, which is you got some that's not saved. Now I'm talking to, to those <clears throat> that are not saved, that's out of the body. Love to talk about God. Oh, I love the Lord. Oh, I read my Bible. What you reading? A psalm. That's all you reading is a psalm. Come on. And, and really, that is actually a prayer. Uh, David always stayed before God. Do you know the significance of that song? Do you know who wrote that song? Do you know why and what situation, amen, that David was in, amen, when he began to pray that prayer? No, you just saying that I love the Lord, but your heart is far from him. You ain't thinking about living right and giving up your own self. You're not thinking about giving up, amen, all of that mess that's inside of you. Glory to God. I'm going to tell you like Jesus said. You're doing the work of your own father. The devil. Glory to God. Now listen. It's time to stop being a counterfeit. A L. <coughs> what I call it. A L fake old. And I have, a, again, I, these promotions got to stop. All of these titles, everybody got a title. The children got a title. If the babies come to church long enough and become a member, they going to have a title. Jesus, help us in that area, Lord. Listen, it's time to break the cycle. My brothers and my sisters, listen. My brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, we have an assignment. And that assignment is that we come together as one. We have allowed that spirit to come in. Oh, that person ain't finna come and take over. You are afraid. You have allowed the enemy to place fear in you because you know why? <clears throat> in reality you want all the recognition you want it all you want the highlight with your name so you can sit up high amen like a Pharisee or Sadducee amen to look good before man come on somebody tell somebody get ready glory to God it's time to come together as one. God placed us here on an assignment. And that is a whole, as a oneness, as a unit. Even Jesus say, even as the Father and myself is one, we are one also in Christ Jesus. We are one. It is time to reap the harvest 
It is time to show real, true, authentic, and divine love with brotherly love one for another. It's time for us to start help supporting one another in the gospel. It's time to come together and tear down Satan's kingdom. And we could say, I, I love them mothers back in the day. I take this out. Here it is. How we used to sing it. Say not. We're going to tear your kingdom down. Hallelujah. Say not. We're going to tear your kingdom down. Hallelujah. That's, that's what I'm talking about. And then they go on and say we're going to pray it down. And then they do it. Didn't they do it? Didn't they come together as one? Amen. It was from church and this church and that church and that church. We came together as one. There wasn't no big eyes and there wasn't no little use. And we was going out there in the street. We were knocking on doors. We was going at home. But what has happened? We have gotten complacent and too comfortable with the world. In the world. With our denomination our tradition and our religion and our formality and also the name of our church. Glory to God. Listen, I'm going to get ready to close. It's time. And I, I could feel the spirits and I feel many of you right now. Huh. I'm doing what God told me to do. No, you're not. You're not doing what God told you to do because if you were you would know exactly what I'm saying. If you were, you would be willing and ready to walk in brotherly love. We don't even call each other. Amen. We Some of us ain't seen each other in years. And we don't even call each other. We don't even check on each other. We don't come together and say, let's have prayer together. We don't do anything together. You know why? Because everybody is in their own thing. And you think you're pleasing God, but baby, you're not. And he's going to show some of you, amen, that he is saying what he's saying and who he's saying it to today. Glory to God. And I ain't talking about you, but I'm talking to you. Glory to God. Listen, there are some of you understand where I'm coming from. I want you to put your hands, amen, just, just place your hands, amen, toward Amen. The Facebook with me. And just pray with me right now. Father, in the name of Jesus. God, I pray, Lord, that every hand now or even thereafter, every hand that point and come, that we join together as one. And God, we pray together right now for the body of Christ. God, that every denomination, God, that every tradition, God, that every religion and every formalism and the name of our church is moved out of the way, God. And we come together that we can come as one in the unity of faith throughout the body of Christ here <coughs> and through the uttermost parts of the earth. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. There may be some of you that's not saved. If you're not saved, <coughs> be honest and repent. Ask God to come into your life and live in you and through you. It's time for you to give up the cigarettes, the drinking, the cursing. And it's time for you to fully surrender and give everything to God. And all you have to do is call on the name of Jesus. When you feel like you're in trouble, call on the name that is above every name. And that is the name of Jesus. Because it's power in the name of Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. And I just want to thank each of you. Amen. And I mostly also, amen, I don't want to forget, amen, my fellow brethren and sisters, amen, over there in Pakistan. Amen. I, I just love them so much, so humble. Amen. Walk with the humble spirit and daily. Amen. Going into different cities. Amen. And they're ministering the gospel. Amen. They have torn down 
amen religion and denomination and these leaders amen is coming together as one and they're coming together going into the streets amen preaching the naked gospel of our lord and our savior jesus christ i thank god amen for my fellow brothers and sisters amen in the different cities and pat in uh, africa as well Amen. I thank God for each of you and even them. They have done the same thing. They're ministering the gospel. Amen. Some of some of the leaders there, amen, is bringing up children, children, amen, that don't have no home, that have lost their parents, that they have taken in, amen, these children themselves, amen, in, in, in Pakistan as well, amen, and they're ministering to those children and those children, amen, are humbling themselves. Because the Bible does say, suffer little children and forbid them not to come unto me. Amen. Because such is the kingdom of heaven. Meaning we got to humble ourselves like a child and not be, amen, a hard head one. But suffer like a child of God and humble ourselves. When it's time to suffer, it's time to suffer. And it's time to call on the name of Jesus. Listen, I love you. I love you very much. Amen. And God bless you in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. And we look forward. Amen. Again on next Tuesday. Amen. If the Lord says the same. Amen. To come um, before you. Amen. And, and we love you and we thank God for you. Amen. In Jesus name. God bless you and I love you. And I look forward to you. Amen. Again. God bless you.